An asset group is a collection of creatives called assets centered on a theme or related to a target audience in a performance max campaign. Each PMAX campaign must have between one and a hundred asset groups. Google AI automatically mixes and matches assets and asset groups to assemble all of your ads and build an inventory for all applicable Google Ads channels to help you achieve your advertising objectives. An asset provided in an asset group can be combined with any other asset from the same group to create ads that serve across YouTube, Display, Google Search, Discover Feed, Gmail, Maps, and Google Partner websites. You can create multiple asset groups per campaign to group assets by theme or to group assets with different targeting. Google may automatically create assets to help you connect with potential customers. When this setting is turned on, Google uses AI to generate additional assets like headlines and descriptions to be used in combination with the assets you provide. These new assets are based on your landing page, domain, and existing ads and creative assets. Performance Max campaigns are opted into automation by default. While it's recommended that you keep this setting turned on to optimize campaign performance, you can opt out using the campaign.asset automation setting field. So let me give you my own personal take on asset groups. Asset groups are at the heart of Performance Max and make PMAX campaigns what they are. If you're coming from other campaign types, you might be used to ad groups and ads, and it might help to think of asset groups as a combination of these two resources, except instead of explicitly creating ads and de designating them for specific channels, you simply specify which assets can be used to create the ads and Google AI will automatically mix and match those assets to create the best ad combinations and serve them to the right audiences across all of Google's advertising channels, all while optimizing your budget to achieve your campaign's goals. This should save you a great deal of time and effort because you no longer have to create individual ad resources for each channel while trying to manually optimize your spend. I said earlier that asset groups are typically centered around themes or related to target audiences. Let's take a slightly different view of this while also looking at why you might want to use one versus many asset groups in a given campaign. To explain this, consider the fact that two fields on asset groups, final URL and final mobile URL, are defined at the ad level in other campaign types. Rather than thinking of each asset group as a container for assets, it may help to instead conceptualize and organize asset groups by goal. And by goal, I mean to send traffic to one or more URLs to achieve the objectives you've defined in your campaign. 